In this lecture, we will discuss about SP3 hybridization and we will discuss this case using formation of CH4 molecule. So let us see the Lewis daughter structure for CH4 molecule. So we have four carbon hydrogen bond in this case. And it is experimentally known that all these four bonds are identical. That is, their bond lengths are equal, their bond strengths are equal. So when I say identical, this means bond length equal, bond energy is equal. Now we know the ground state configuration of carbon atom that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. We can show the same using box diagram. We have two electron in p orbital. So this is 1s, this is 2s and this is 2p orbital. Now in ground state we have only two unpaired electrons. So this one is unpaired and this one is unpaired. So we have two unpaired electron. This means in ground state carbon can form maximum two bond. But we know in case of methane, we have four bonds. So this means we have to have four unpaired electrons. And this can be done if I promote one electron from 2s to 2p atomic orbital. That is carbon in excited state. So now its configuration will be. something like this. It has two electrons in 1s, one electron in 2s and three electron in 2p atomic orbitals. Now there are four unpaired electrons. So in this case carbon can form four bond. But these bonds will not be identical because for three bonds, 2p atomic orbital will be used and when for one bond, 2s atomic orbital will be used. So in this case, all bond will not be same strength, will not be same bond length, that is bonds are not identical. So in this case, all CH bond are not identical. So we have to think something so that all four bond becomes identical and this can be done if I mix one 2s atomic orbital and three 2p atomic orbital that is one s and three p atomic orbital if I mix all this and we can make the hybrid orbital. So we are mixing these four atomic orbital and we are generating carbon in hybrid state. 1s is not used in mixing and this 2s and 3p atomic orbital is used in mixing. So we will have four hybrid orbitals. That is number of atomic orbital mixed is four. So number of hybrid orbital formed is also 4 because 
number of atomic orbital mixed is equals to number of hybrid orbitals formed so we will have four hybrid orbitals and its name will be sp3 so this is sp3 this is sp3 this one is sp3 and this one is also sp3 now these four hybrid orbital each will have one electron because we have four electrons so we have to plus these electrons in hybrid orbital so these all electron will be placed in hybrid orbital so each will have one electron now these four orbitals in a space will lie in such a base so that repulsion between them is minimum and that can be done only if if I place these hybrid orbitals along the vertex of a tetrahedron so we will have So this is 1sp3 atomic orbital, not this is a hybrid orbital, not atomic orbital. This one is another sp3 hybrid orbital. This one is another sp3 hybrid orbital. This one is another sp3 hybrid orbital. And they are along the tetrahedron vertex. So this means bond angle is, this angle is 109 degree. Now each hybrid orbital has one electron. and hydrogen can approach because hydrogen has electronic configuration of 1s1 that is one electron in s orbital so four hydrogen can approach these sp3 hybrid orbitals so let us say hydrogen is approaching this side we have a hydrogen so four hydrogen can approach to these hybrid orbitals for bond formation so finally we will have CH4 molecule formed so this is sp3 this one is sp3 this one is sp3 and this one is also sp3 now we have overlap here we also have a overlap overlap carbon hydrogen overlap now each overlap will have two electron with opposite spins so this is sp3 lobe and this one is s lobe so overlap is sp3 s overlap so this overlap is sp3 s overlap and this bond angle is around 109 degree that is the bond angle of a tetrahedron similarly we can show the formation of CF4 molecule everything will remain same only in case of fluorine we will have p orbital like in case of hydrogen we have s orbital if you see the electronic configuration of fluorine we will have 1s2 2s2 2p5 box diagram we will have so we have one unpaired electron in p atomic orbital so unpaired electron we have in this case in p atomic orbital so everything will remain same we will have carbon in ground state then we will have carbon in excited state and then we will have carbon in hybrid state and then we can show the geometry so each will have one electron so this is carbon now four p orbitals of fluorine will approach for bond formation 
So this is fluorine atom with a electron in p atomic orbital. So this is atomic orbital and this is hybrid orbital. So this one is hybrid orbital that is sp3 and this is atomic orbital that is p orbital. And one more fluorine can approach to sp3 atomic orbital, sp3 hybrid orbital to form bond. So finally we will have formation of CF4 molecule. It is very similar to CH4. Only thing is this time we will have p atomic orbital that will overlap in place of s atomic orbital in case of CH4. So this is the formation of CF4. So this is carbon and these are fluorine. Each overlap will have two electrons. So here we have two electrons. Here also we have two electrons. So each overlap has two electrons and their spins are opposite. So in case of CF4, this overlap is sp3 p overlap. So in this lecture basically we discussed what is the need of sp3 hybridization. If I see carbon in ground state it can maximum form two bond but basically CH4 form four bonds. So I need four excited electrons and that can be done only if excite the carbon so that it will have four unpaired electrons but in that case it will form four bonds that will have not identical. So we have to have mixing that is we can mix one s orbital and three p atomic orbital to get the four hybrid orbitals. Now these four hybrid orbitals can overlap with s atomic orbital of hydrogen to form CH4 or it can overlap with p atomic orbital of fluorine to form CF4. Similarly we can have CCL4.